Welcome back. This next concept I want to share with you because this is really important for you to, to realize. When you are basically, money serves a purpose and people that obsess just with, a, with paper, that doesn't equate to anything because it's a way of transacting something. And the best way for you to look at this is basically you are providing something to someone and that someone is providing cash in return. So, but uh, the return on investment concept um, is kind of, uh, people mess this up a little bit because there are actually four parts to this. And you need to take care of, of those four, otherwise it's not going to work for you. Because look at it like this. If you keep uh, eating crap and keep eating stuff that doesn't uh, equate for you to becoming better, so you are having a poor return on your investment in your health. So if you, uh, if you eat better, you start having more health. And when you have more health, you have more energy. And when you have more energy, you are able to do stuff better. So this is one of them. And you have to take, to take uh, good care after yourself. And this means mentally and also physically. The other one is social. Because if you, you might be the, the world's greatest genius, but if people don't know you, if people don't connect with you, you won't get anywhere. So you have to connect with people. And there are basically two types of people that you can connect. You have to connect with people that kind of are, are in a higher uh, bracket than you are. And that doesn't always equate to money because they, they might have, they have the knowledge that you don't. So they, they, <laughs> that's what they call the old G's, the old gangsters. So, they, they, they've been through the, pa the, the path that you are going to, um, to go, that you want to go, and you need to figure out what they did in order to get where they are today. So you need to connect with these people because these people are able to change your life in, in, in a bit. So you have to learn from, from people that have knowledge that you don't have, and you have to connect with them because they are ready to open doors for you. This is critical. And you have a social media today, you, ha you can connect with people. And when you start doing this, because people will like you, because they, they'll start uh, resonating with you because they see themselves in you when they were younger, see? You are trying to connect to your older self. And this, this is the way to go. So you have to connect with people. And also, you have to um, share, share and give everything back to, to people that kind of want to be in the position that you are today, because you have to be grateful for what you have today because sometimes if you live in a way that you feel always feel ungrateful because you are always looking uh, regarding the thing that you don't have you will always be miserable you have to be grateful for the things that you have you can look at your life and say i don't live uh, i i i live better than 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 i i thought i could live so today i'm great i'm i'm healthy i have a good family i'm I'm, I'm okay, so I have energy in order to keep pursuing whatever the, the thing that I'm trying to pursue. So always remember that you have to be grateful. So it's important for you to have this mindset of what, because when you are grateful and you really truly want to give back and help people, your mind starts looking at things from a different perspective. You start becoming less frustrated and more willing to, to share everything that you have with people. And then knowledge. Knowledge is probably the glue that gets everything together because if you buy a book, let's say with the cash that we already were talking about, you decide to do capital for investments. And this capital for investments means something regarding also your health, social knowledge and cash that we're going to talk in a little bit. So knowledge is regarding books, conferences, YouTube videos, whatever the thing might, uh, podcasts, interviews, whatever the thing might be that can help you to move forward because if you buy a book that costs 30 bucks and have and has an information inside that can help you attain a million it's a great investment right because a great return on your investment you are basically paying 30 bucks and getting 1 million in return if you get it so this is a way a great way of looking at this i read a, a book a day and it's probably one of the greatest things the greatest decisions that i made was start learning a lot and then cash, because all of this equates to, to money available, wealth that you can generate. But it comes back to the first uh, principle that I was talking about when I started this small lesson. It's not cash for cash. Basically, you, are, um, you don't generate cash. What, what you do is get cash from someone else. And this is a different mindset. So what you have to ask is, 
who has your money, who has your cash, because you have to provide something for that person and that person will pay you back. So this is the return on the investment that you, that you have. This is a short lesson today. I just wanted to share this, these four uh, uh, key pillars that are super important because you have to be grateful for, for all of them. So if you do things that uh, harm your health, you have a negative return on investment. If you do things that harm, harm um, your, social, um, your social wealth, it will put you in a, in a, in a doghouse, in a, in a poor position. So always look at these four pillars in a way that how can, what can I do today in order to increase them, in order to have better health, in order to have a better social relationship with your family, with connecting with a higher bracket, making uh, phone calls, trying to have people on your podcast, whatever the case might be. Knowledge, meaning books, getting books, learning from people that have information that you don't, and cash. So doing a business that can, basically two things here, setting yourself in the right businesses, they have a proven track record of sustainability, managing them well so that you can have a positive return on investment in regarding your cash. I hope this was useful for you. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.